What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video and today we are kicking it old school. We have the stylus drawing on the screen so hopefully that's an indicator that it's going to be a good video but this is going to be about a red zone concept that Tweez ran against Joke in the third week of the Ultimate League and I thought it was a really unique and creative way to kind of get these low points you know kind of going in the red zone that's been very effective. Last year it was really all about the high points this year not so much. Low points are a lot better and so this was a really cool way he did it, and it's a concept that's been around for a while. Last year, if you guys remember, a lot of people were running stuff like gun tight flex and tight offset tight end, and you would run bench, and you would put the outside receivers on flat zones, and that would pull out those flat zone defenders, and you were able to low point the corner routes basically as they broke. And so that's kind of the similar, a similar concept to what Tweez is going to go with right here, and it's actually been done this year already in the Redskins club series from Ghost and probably from other players as well but this is probably the most notable one now obviously Ghost is already up 31 to 6 late in the game but the concept is still very good so Ghost is going to run Z spot right here at a single back ace and him motioning out his running back is very important right here and so what you're going to see the reason you want to run Z spot in this scenario is because you get a corner route from one of your two tight ends so in this case depending on which way you run it right here Ghost has the corner route coming from the left side and so his route concept is going to be a wheel route up the sideline and by the motioned out running back and then a drag route underneath. And so all he's trying to do, he's going up against a wide nine Tampa two right here. And all you want to do is open up that corner route to be low pointed. And the way he's doing that is he's going to pull out the outside flat zone defender with that wheel route by Bo Jackson. And then he's going to get the attention of this hook curl line or vertical hook rather linebacker right there. He's going to bite down and have his eyes on the underneath drag route. And that's going to open up this area of the field right there for Ghost to go ahead and low point the ball to the tight end to where that deep free safety right here has no shot at coming down and making a play. And that's exactly what you're going to see happen. It opens up the flat zone, widens out to the wheel route. The underneath vertical hook bites on the drag and then the low point puts it to where that safety has no shot at coming up to make a play. Ends up catching it, goes down at the you know one inch line. I think he ends up getting in the next play or two, but you see the concept in action. So right here what Tweez did was he tweaked it. So right here he's out of single back spread and basically what he did was he created the same exact concept but now with hot routes and the way he did that was he went with the smoke screen on the outside by the, by the outermost receiver and then on the slot he went with a smart routed out route and basically what it becomes is almost like an inverted curl flat where you're you're reading the flat zone defender in this case joking with cover three cloud setup so this is going to end up being the flat zone defender so what you're going to see whenever the play rolls, and this was aided by the fact that Joke went with underneath coverage. You see that guy literally just sitting on the smoke screen that indicates a hard flat. But the whole goal of this play is to basically widen out that flat zone defender and open up this little pocket right here for Tweez to throw a low pass. And it doesn't even matter that this cornerback right here is in the area. He's not going to be able to make a play on the ball because Cunningham's going to put it in an, a position where literally only Tweez's receiver is going to be able to make a play. So that's the whole concept right here. You see low pass as soon as he breaks. Even though the cornerback was right there waiting to lay a big hit, Grant goes to the ground because it was a low pass and nobody can make a play on the ball. Even if that had been a, not been a hard flat, but rather like a cloud flat, even so, if he wasn't playing the smoke screen, he would have dropped back and still widened out because the smoke screen's out there. And so it still opens up this little pocket. Now it is a tough throw. You have to hope your quarterback makes an, an accurate pass and then you have to hope your receiver ends up holding on to it. But that is a very creative way to try and get a guy open, especially in the red zone in Madden 18 where things get very, very condensed and it's very tough to throw the ball. And another bonus of this route combo in the fact that you can now hot route it is that you can come out in whatever play you want. You don't have to come out in a play that has a corner route out of, you know, either the slot or from coming from the tight end. Now you can come out in whatever play you want and have whatever backside route combo you want to attack your opponent with. Right here, Tweez went with double slants and you see uh, Joke had to respect the double slants because of the defense he was running. He went three deep. So you don't have as many underneath defenders, especially since he went with the spy because Tweez has Randall Cunningham and so you see Joke had to stay in the area and respect both the slot slant and then after he clears the slot slant and passes him off to his other defenders he ends up having to sink back and guard against the B receiver slanting over the middle so Joke was not able to go over to the left side of the field to try and make a play on the ball and Tweez ended up scoring a touchdown losing the game ultimately but this was a really cool play I thought and I think it can be 
very effective when used correctly. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope it helped at least one person out. Also, for my last video where I said I'd be making personalized videos for everybody who commented asking for one, I will be getting those videos out to you guys over the next one or two weeks. I ended up getting a lot more comments than I initially thought I would, so just bear with me, but I will be getting those out to you guys. Now, if you haven't seen that video and would like to get a video from me, go ahead. You can still leave a comment. I'll be taking comments basically until midnight tonight, so February 19th, midnight. And that's going to be the latest that I'm going to take comments to do those personalized videos for. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.